Let's take a look at the changes to the 2024 Toyota Tacoma on the exterior. What's different? Pretty much everything. Let's start off in the front and before we get going, let me tell you, I did remove the air dam across the front. Did not like the look of that. It is gone. Otherwise, we have two LED rectangular lights here in the front. Of course, we used to have round over here, kind of integrated into the front bumper fascia. We have a TRD system that's been moved down. It used to be located behind the emblem. They've moved it down up above the bumper area. That provides an opportunity for mods here. I like that. Although right behind this grill, and I believe attached to it, is a shutter system. Uh, that's going to make changing out the grill a little bit more difficult, I think. And I also believe you have to remove pretty much the whole front end to change out that grill. We have LED headlights and daytime running lights, similar to what the Toyota Tundra has. Still have a faux grill area or vent area here, but we do have functional real vents here in the fender flares on the sides obviously for cooling i would imagine back behind on top this is a trd sport of course they changed the whole hood we now have some raised areas beside the hood scoop i like this much better it's more integrated it's not like something that just sits on top of the hood it is not functional still unfortunately moving around to the sides we do have oops there's a little tacoma uh, Easter egg right there in the lights but we do have a bigger more muscular I guess fender flare here on the side that kind of makes the truck look a little bit beefier when you're looking at it from the front and yeah I'm gonna say it kind of Ford Raptor ish but not nearly as bad we've got the wheels these are TRD wheels there are two, four, six lugs, and they did come with black lugs. I like that. Although, not really a fan of the chrome or brushed aluminum that's in there. We do have some mud flaps. Nothing really different there. The side steps are different. These are really more of a running board. They do have Tacoma in them. Still not a big fan of side steps myself, but I guess at least if we have to have them, it's good that they're more of a board, that they're functional. The Predator steps that we've had in the past, of course, were not really very functional. Pretty thin or narrow area to put your foot on. These are much better if you want them, I guess. Moving down the side, we do have a bigger, chunkier door handle. This again is kind of Tundra-like, I suppose. I do like that they put a black, different color in here. This is kind of nice. It is a touch. Uh, entry you probably heard there. I like that windows wise. We still have the black uh, Tape if you will right across the center area here. It can be removed There is red underneath there not something I would do but you could do it if you wanted Moving to the back again. We have the bigger fender flares back here Just gives the truck a more muscular beefy look. I suppose of course they changed the roof line uh, gave us more room by what feels like just putting a cap on top of the cab, if you will. Gives us this kind of spoiler off the back. Eh, I don't know that I'm a big fan of that look, but it is what it is. The window is kind of odd. This, because of the unfinished area around the edge, or what looks to be unfinished, almost looks like they just stuck a window in there. On the other truck, there was molding, rubber molding that went around the edge that kind of hid these edges of the window. I'm really not sure why Toyota did it this way. Maybe you can change this window out and go to a slider so they made it easier to do. I'm not exactly sure. The third brake light, also the bed light up there, definitely different. Hopefully that little panel underneath pops out to give you a couple screws to access it used to be you'd have to remove the whole headliner to get to that. Uh, the bed itself, still a composite bed. We do have Tacoma still stamped in the front here, or raised in the front, I guess. Still have the old style looking uh, screen door type 
tie downs up there at least now they're no longer pewter or silver or chrome color uh, but this bed has been linexed or sprayed in not sure that's really necessary but it came that way on my truck so why not on the edges you can see there and there's one on the other side right by, right in front of me uh, we have the uh, lights the side lights uh, for lighting up the bed area we have the police here that's kind of strange I'm not sure why they're pulling in here uh, but anyway we have the lights here on the sides to be able to provide uh, for the bed I like that area the tailgate itself we're gonna have to pause for a second uh, we have the police here Okay, a little bit of excitement there. Uh, apparently an alarm went off somewhere in the area and they were trying to find a house. I don't know. I wasn't arrested. It wasn't about me. So back to the bed uh, on the Tacoma. The one thing that I noticed right away when I opened the tailgate, number one, it's the, oops, got to unlock it, of course. It is uh, the soft drop, if you will. I like that but it weighs practically nothing. I mean, look at this, one, one finger. It's amazing. We do have Tacoma stamped or raised. I always want to say stamped right across the top. And it's a little bit deeper than the other Tacoma was, the third gen, and also a little bit wider uh, in the dimensions, I guess, of the tailgate cover back here itself. Now, we still have the tie-downs. These are going to be replaced. Looks like Toyota didn't change that at all. So there's the one thing so far that's exactly the same. Well, I guess two, because we still have the uh, screen door holders back there. And by the way, there is the other light on the other side. They did relocate those. Notice I don't have the power outlet back here. I believe that still is an option nor do I have the uh, cubby over here on the side. That is gone. But there is an option to have some sort of a cubby over there, I believe, for a compressor if you want to put one in. And we still have the same type of side rails around the edges, which is good for me because that means I can at least attempt to put the sport bar in here and see what that looks like. The tail lights, of course, they are different. Uh, completely different and to remove them just a little side note looks a little different as well I mean we have a couple of bolts here I'm assuming that's going to release the tail lights because they would have to have a way to replace the the bulbs or the LEDs or whatever inside if there was some sort of a problem we'll find out that'll be a video of course later on now in the back Everything else is pretty much the same with the exception of the jacking points. They've added high lift jacking points back here. I think that is fantastic. The only other thing I wish they would have done is added something like that, maybe to the fronts to be able to use a high lift or high jack, high lift, I guess, to be able to pull those up. Otherwise, the bumper in the back is pretty much the same. We do have the receiver for towing back there and, of course, the connections to plug in for brakes and lights and all of that moving around to the driver's side one thing i did notice here seems like we have a much bigger gas cap maybe it's an illusion i don't know but the filler door here i said gas cap the filler door here seems to be a heck of a lot bigger to me that's it we don't have well there is one more thing we don't have any turn signals here in the mirrors um, that might be an upgrade uh, for trim. I'm not sure. I'm guessing it probably is, but no longer do we have those flashing lights there for some reason. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, kind of run through uh, changes or what the exterior of the new Toyota Tacoma is. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Improvements or not so much? I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.